So I wanted to show you how big of a difference, depending on the application and the ambient conditions, the software of the vehicle you're making model, that the internal heat exchanger, we all know what the, the internal heat exchanger is, for those who don't, you see this liquid line, how the liquid line disappears into this one line and there's only one line going back, and then the liquid line comes back out and then feeds. Let's look at uh, the superheat. You see our superheat? SC right there, 4.1. Now that's our superheat at this point before it has the heat removed from the refrigerant so it could have more capacity removal. So now we're gonna go connect it right before it goes into expansion valve. There we go, coming out right there. Now, it had heat removed from the liquid, so there's more energy capability of absorption when it goes into expansion valve to increase its efficiency. Now look at the subcooling. We're now at 21. That's the subcooling before. It was at 4.1, now it's 21.1. That is the purpose. It makes your system run more efficiently. See you guys later.